Hello, what is up guys? My name is Gamer 3737 and today is unfortunately um, our very last video of recreating Jurassic Park in Jurassic World Evolution. Um, I mean, it's not our last video. We still have the Grand Tour, but this is otherwise the very last video. We finish it off with um, a banger with um some really nice paddocks and uh yeah but this is unfortunately our very last um building video but like i said i plan on doing a lot more so um you guys uh remember to like subscribe and uh slap that bell and stay tuned for some more videos because i plan on doing um the lost world jurassic park 3 and then also maybe um jurassic world i don't know but, um, as you can see here, I mean, if you're a true Jurassic Park fan, you obviously r really know what this is. It is, uh, the, uh, T-Rex, uh, enclosure with the, uh, huge, uh, curve. So, what I was planning for was there to be a huge fence that you have to go through. And then you could see a little bit of the Velociraptors, because I just didn't want to place Velociraptors in the, um, that tiny paddock, and then... Yeah, that's all you could see. I wanted you to get, you get um, close so you could um, end up seeing them. Um, like I said, I do do a little bit off camera, which um, is, I mentioned in the last video, we I do some stuff for stegosaurs. Um, I didn't have time to put them in this video unless, I mean, it kind of be a little bit too long. So what I did was I just did them off camera. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of really all I did off camera. But, um, so yeah, I'm just making this enclosure suitable for, uh, Velociraptors, raptors, and then I actually start considering, hey, maybe I should make these raptors. So, um, yeah, so we are starting this, uh, right here. Um, if you could also notice that, um, like I said, I said I would be doing some work with the Compsonathus because um, that paddock that I made in the last episode just wasn't working out. So I ended up getting, uh, like, m uh, made a new one, almost. So that's what I did. And we just had to place uh, the boundary so none of, so the raptors uh, can't escape. I'm only making two. In the book, there was about eight. So, and I was like, that's going to take too long. So yeah, you guys could see right there. You guys could see the new and approved rapt uh, Compsonathus paddock. So, so what we're doing right now, we're just, um, I'm just lining the outer boundary with another fence so the T-Rex doesn't escape. We don't want the T-Rex to escape. Um, but yeah, so then what I was, uh, thinking is that this whole entire mountain is covered in, um, trees and those are our raptors done. You guys could see, um, I actually watched this just so I could see it because I always thought the raptors with the Jurassic Park looked really cool. And they might sound a little weird because it's sped up, so that's kind of why. And I'm sorry again if my voice doesn't sound that good. I don't really feel that good right now. Um, I just have a sore throat, but... So yeah, I was thinking about putting the water up there, and... I just think it kind of looks cool because, um, if you watch any of my other videos, um, I have, like, this, uh, terrain thing that I do. I don't... I kind of think it looks nice where I make a pond and then I surround it in trees so it only you can only see the pond and not the shore and then i just place a bunch of rocks and trees in there and i don't know i kind of think it looks nice so that's what i do uh there and then on the other side again if you watch dress park you know what i'm about to do um yep just from that thing you kind of already know what i'm doing so i was trying to place some trees in there because it kind of sticks out but like right there it looks really nice which, uh, if you don't know what that is, um, why, why are you watching this? But, um, in, I'll tell you if you don't, but in Jurassic Park, um, the T-Rex obviously escapes from its paddock, and, what's his name, um, Donald Gennaro, it's probably not how you pronounce it, but, um, uh, escapes, or leaves one of the cars and hides in that, uh, restroom area. And then the T-Rex comes out and destroys it and it kills him. So, yeah. And um, I forgot to move the rafters. So, I started moving them over. And then I also need to make 
um, Rexy uh, herself. And uh, yeah, but like I said, it's kind of sad that this is my last recreation video for Jurassic Park. And like I said, it was pretty fun uh, doing all of this. So um, yeah, but right here, I'm just looking at everything, seeing how it looks. And right there, there's some of the Compsonathus, uh, the new Compsonathus paddock that I made that I think looks really good. Um, the only problem with the T-Rex paddock is um, the food. So obviously in Jurassic Park, there is a goat feeder. But in um, Jurassic World um, Evolution, uh, dinosaurs cannot hunt goats in trees, and the whole entire paddock is mainly trees. So, um, the, uh, Rexy was, uh, dying. So, I had to swap that goat feeder out for a, uh, live bait feeder, um, later. And so here, this is where I was thinking in the last episode I was talking about how I wanted there to be a stegosaurus habitat. And none of the Gallimimus were over, so I was like, this is a perfect time to make this uh, paddock. So I didn't know how this was going to honestly work. But then I just thought in my head that uh, if the uh, Gallimimuses want to, they could go down this. So um, the path can go down that gate. You see there's a gate in the distance, those gates. But you would have to delete the, the road and do it all over again. I was like, I'm not doing that. So what I just did is I just made a huge uh, corridor and if the Gallimimus want to, they could just walk down that huge corridor if they want to. Uh, I have seen it, and they will go down that uh, corridor. But uh, none of the the uh, jeeps stop, but then the Gallimimus just walk out of the way, and then the jeeps continue. So I don't see it as a major problem. So like I said, I was considering or not about putting the uh, Stegosaurus in here be just because they are... Um, cause I was going to make a lost world and Jurassic Park 3 and those, uh, stegosaurs are like the main, main dinosaurs of that, not the main dinosaurs, but like one of the main dinosaurs in the lost world. And then in Jurassic Park 3, uh, knowing that Jurassic Park 3 and the lost world are both on Isla Sorna, um, you know, they are both on the same island. So that's why I was thinking putting them both in there and just, uh, consistently remembering to, uh, put gates everywhere. Not that it really makes a difference, but just so, like, um, you know, I could remember all that. You can see, um, I'm really, really proud of how this place turned out. And so I was just waiting for a signed, uh, Stegosaurus sign to put down. And I also forgot, again, to place a, uh, Baryonyx sign. Um, I probably won't anyway. It really doesn't hurt anything. So, uh, yeah. So here is Rexy herself this dinosaur or the t-rex itself is a really good dinosaur you probably just heard that very 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 weird squeal and as you can see we got five stars on Jurassic Park even though the guest count is only like 575 where if you five star any other park it's usually like um, 2,000 people and so I was like you know what in celebration of the five stars I might as well just go and uh, trank the uh, Rexy herself, which I'm probably never going to do that again because it took it took me so long just to find Rexy because Rexy kept sh uh, going in the forest and it uh, takes three shots for um, her to be darted. So there's one. I try to shoot through the forest, but it doesn't work. So you have to like go around and like try to find everything. She kept running in the forest, and I didn't want to get rid of the forest because I already liked how it looked. And so I noticed that, uh, you know, she kept running around. So I tried to shoot there, I miss, and then she comes back around one more time. And it kind of looks like she's like about to charge, because you can see right here. She looks like she's about to charge, but that's kind of it. So if you, so yeah, have a good day, and goodbye. Remember to like, subscribe, and stop that bell, and yeah, have a good day, and goodbye.